Distinguished guests, families, staff, and most importantly, students, welcome to Birchurch High School's celebration of our graduates. We certainly acknowledge that none of us plan to celebrate the 2020 graduates in this manner, but as our graduating class has shown us, life takes resilience and flexibility, so here we are. I'd like to acknowledge the incredible efforts of our graduation committee, including Mr. Verhees, Mr. Ferguson, Ms. Teamstra, Mrs. Weigel, Mrs. Chadwick, Mrs. Cumberland and a group of dedicated students for coming together under challenging circumstances to make the past few weeks memorable for our graduates. Thank you. Our ceremony for today will include messages from dignitaries, staff, and students. To begin, we would like to welcome Mayor Peter Brown to share a message with our graduating class. Hello, graduates, parents, teachers, family, and friends. I'm Mayor Peter Brown, and I'm happy to bring congratulations and warm wishes from our Airdrie City Council. It takes tremendously hard work and dedication to get where you are today. And although this year is especially tough because you can't go out and celebrate together, you should feel very proud. This global pandemic is one of many hardships you will face in your lifetime. You're going to experience adversity. And I don't presume to suggest that just because of your age, you haven't already experienced hardship but you will continue to experience things that test you and you will continue to experience change. Change can be uncomfortable, but it's also constant. The most successful people don't expect stability. They assume change will happen and they adapt. Real growth happens during these times. Look for opportunities, be creative, take stock of what you have and always, always be, great, be grateful for it. Take a moment, Enjoy your accomplishment and be thankful. Be thankful for your friends who filled your days with laughter and the ones who were there during the tough times. Be thankful for the teachers who rooted for your success and for those teachers who were tough on you and encouraged you to work harder. Be thankful for your family who helped you through your challenges and support you every day. To the parents, family, and friends, congratulations. Your encouragement has helped your child get to this point. It's tough not to see them cross the stage to mark this great milestone, but you should be very proud. Teachers, thank you for the important work you do. I've heard from many teachers who are, were heartbroken that they didn't get a chance to say goodbye to their classes when the schools were closed. I know you're doing the very best that you can to prepare these young people for the next stages of their lives. Thank you for your dedication through these formative years and for adapting to the current challenges we all face. And again, to the Burt Church High School graduating class of 2020, wherever life takes you, we wish you all the very, very best. And again, congratulations. Thank you, Mayor Brown. Next, we welcome Rocky View Schools trustee, Todd Brand. Honored students. On behalf of the Rocky View Schools Board of Trustees, including my fellow Airdrie trustees, Mr. Jim Forrest and Ms. Melissa Bowen, I bring greetings and congratulations to the Burt Church High School graduating class of 2020. While I truly wish my eyes were scanning across a room full of proud faces today, I'm still very honoured to be able to share a brief message today. People have talked about how much the world is going to change because of this pandemic, and this is true, it will. But it is also true that this world would be changing fast whether the virus had ever emerged or not. 
We live in a world today that changes faster than at any point in human history. Good changes, bad changes, we have them both, and without question, these changes are wide and vast. So you are graduating into a changed environment, but you have already grown up in a fast-changing environment. So, in my opinion, if anyone's got this, you do. This pandemic will come, and it will go, and it will reshape the world around us. But there is another force of great change that's also being unleashed right now, and that is this tremendous generation of graduates across our city, our province, and our nation. You are a force of impact that will bring much greater change than this crisis we are in right now. You are the graduating class of Burt Church High School for 2020. You will always be a special class, a unique one, one that will be bonded in a way that no other has experienced. Take what you have learned over your years of schooling and take what you are learning right now and change this world into the world that you want it to be. I wish you all the very best as you head into a changing future that I believe you are well prepared for. Congratulations. Thank you, Trustee Brand. Bringing greetings on behalf of Rocky View Schools is our very own Superintendent, Greg Luterbach. Welcome dignitaries, family, staff, and most importantly, Burt Church High School graduates. It's my honor to share some greetings on behalf of the staff of Rocky View Schools. Now, full disclosure, I'm also a proud dad of a Burt Church 2020 grad. It's strange as I'm kind of a professional graduation attendee and I have countless speeches I've written over the years for events such as this. And so while my message is common, it does force me to look at each word a little bit differently as I give advice to one of my own kids. Now this pre-recorded format is different. The positive is that it'll allow me to replay my message to JT if I see him straying from the advice. But I'm also going to have to just trust that you're going to laugh at the appropriate time. Today we celebrate the completion of high school, and like our family, some of you had your first child starting kindergarten in the fall of 2007. It was a big deal for us, but our kids were ready to get started. Now that seems so long ago. Our students entered high school in the fall of 2016, and we have survived having to listen to that song and hold the camera while they were trying to replicate the mannequin challenge. Little did we know that our camera skills would come in handy for the recent TikTok filming I'm sure you've had to help with too. Maybe more us than our kids, but we were busy trying to determine, is that a beagle or a bagel? And oh my goodness, we almost didn't make it through that whole bottle flipping phase. Look back. We realized that we weren't always the perfect parents, but we have lots to be proud of with our kids. They've come a long way. Along the journey, our kids have made, made many new friends, had many teachers and coaches, went on field trips. They were involved in clubs and concert, teams and productions, and hosted the Provincial Student Leadership Conference in the spring of 2018. Somehow, with all of this going on, they even managed to meet the graduation requirements. Now, not having diploma exams this spring sure didn't hurt. We're figuring out how to, get to navigate at-home learning together, somehow between Tiger King episodes, that is. Congratulations, parents, we've almost got them there. Now to the grads, as both a dad and a superintendent, I'm proud of how you've demonstrated that you can be selfless and forgo hanging out with friends and activities that you love to do, all in an effort to help others. Recently, I saw a commercial that resonated with me. It said, adversity came to town and challenged us to show it what you're made of. What I know, you rose to the occasion. You took it on head first. You showed that you exemplify resilience and patience, selflessness, fortitude, determination, compassion, and more. You have risen to the countless challenges, and that's important, as you're gonna to need to step up to many challenges in the future. Everything is not gonna go the way you had planned. You'll need to adapt, learn on the fly, adjust, solve problems, overcome adversity, think critically, collaborate with others, and even navigate bad haircuts. These are the skills that you're gonna to need to leverage in the next stage of your life, no matter what your choice is, whether that be post-secondary education, eventually traveling the world, joining the world of work, or even living in your parents' basement. Now parents, listen up, you'll get to practice those same skills too, but you'll get to practice them, especially if your child's choice is to live in your basement. Now remember grads that you're not alone. We'll get through this together, that social isolation will eventually end, You've got your family and your friends, your teachers rooting for you and ready to provide assistance along the way. You are at the stage where you are making more important decisions and taking more responsibility for those decisions. You'll make mistakes, because all of us do, but it'll, how, it'll be about how you recover from those mistakes, which is most important. 
I also encourage you to keep options open because believe it or not, you might need to change your mind. Mistakes and changing your mind are just part of life. Now to all of the RVS staff who helped you to get to this point, thank you. To each and every family member of our grads, congrats. You are part of the team that helped them get them to this point. To our grads, I encourage you to take time to thank all the people who have helped along the way. Now in closing, we are proud of all of our graduates and very excited about what you'll do, where your journey will take you, and the contributions you will make. Take care of each other and go out there and make a positive difference in the world. And to the moms and dads and guardians out there, we did it. Thank you, Mr. Luderbach. It is my turn to share some thoughts with the graduating class of 2020. Graduates, we hope that today is a special day for you to celebrate your accomplishments with your friends and families. Completing your K-12 educational journey is no small feat, and as the staff shared in their cards with you, we are all proud of your achievements. Although I've only been at the school for a short time, the way you welcomed me immediately made me feel at home. Last spring, when I asked each of your teachers what they liked about working at Bird Church, I overwhelmingly heard the kids. As a former Bird Church student myself, I was a little skeptical about these kids' comments, wondering how many of them could actually be true. Upon arriving at the school, I was greeted warmly by so many of you, immediately making BCHS feel like home for me again. Thank you. Throughout my interactions with you this year, I've been thoroughly impressed by your kindness and care for each other. Some of my best highlights include greeting many of you at the back door of the school, most of you on time. The energy and enthusiasm you approached the school year with was outstanding and did not go unnoticed. Watching many of you excel in areas outside the classroom showcased the talent that walks the halls of our school. From sporting events to musical concerts and theatrical productions, the graduating class of 2020 brought so much to the table. When I was writing in your cards, it was evident to me how talented each of you are. Parents, thank you for the role you played in sending us such gifted kids to work with. We know it takes a village and we're thankful to be part of yours. Staff, thank you for the influential role you each played in our graduates' lives. The caring staff we have at Burt Church has been on display over the past few months with so many of them going above and beyond to stay connected with our students, even when we can't be in the same buildings. Getting staff to volunteer to read names, drop off graduation boxes and awards, write cards, and anything else that was needed to honor our graduates was made easy because of the relationships they have with their students. Thanks to each of you. Graduates, as you head out from here in a time of uncertainty, know that you can always call Bird Church home. Thanks for leaving the school in a better place than you found it and exemplifying what it means to be a Charger. Congratulations on this momentous occasion. The graduating class of 2020 selected Mr. Dorner to give them a speech prior to heading out into the world. Mr. Dorner is our beloved band teacher and maybe better known as the guardian of the West Doors. I think this is actually how he knows so many of our graduates. Welcome Mr. Dorner with his thoughts for our grads. I am truly honored to be selected to speak to the graduating class of 2020. We arrived here at Burt Church together in September 2016 and have seen many things transpire in the last four years. From US presidential tweets to TikTok challenges, there has been no shortage of entertainment and shock coming from social media. The digital shift that has occurred in your lifetimes alone has been monumental and in reality, no generation of learners could be better prepared for how this school year has ended and what the world may hold for you moving forward. I would like to acknowledge that this is not how any of us saw our time together at Burt Church ending, but that should not and cannot diminish the pride you should feel for what you have accomplished. Certainly, many parents and teachers might feel that you are not ready to take on the world on your own, saying that you still have some growing up to do. My parents still worry about me and my high school days are far, far behind me. What my parents and all the teachers and mentors in my life have given me and continue to give me through their sage advice is the desire to be better. I work to be a better husband, a better father, and a better son. I work to be a better teacher, a better student, a better musician, and a better friend. I work to be a better human. 
I wish to impart upon you a few qualities to help guide you as you continue to grow and develop into better humans yourselves. You are the future, and the way you treat yourselves and the people you meet will determine what kind of world you live in. These qualities are not a finite list, and there is no particular order with which you should practice them. You do not need to acquire these, because I believe you have them, as you have demonstrated through your actions, your accomplishments, and in overcoming your struggles during your time here. Everyone has their own variations and their own reasons as to why some of these traits are more important than others and why we might omit certain characteristics at certain times. Honestly, I believe it is easiest to keep it simple and organized in a way that makes sense to you. The first quality I want to share with you is straight up teacher talk. You've heard this plenty of times and you'll hear it more and that is for you to be a lifelong learner. I'm not talking only about book learning, but much of what we learn from here on out is through our life experiences. Embrace the unknown by working to make it known. Challenge yourself with something new whenever you get the opportunity. You will have to be honest with yourself and know that you will not be great at everything. But do not miss the chance to learn about the world around you and yourself. Do it. Try it. Learn about it. Practice and perfect it. Experience it. Love it or hate it, but don't deny yourself the opportunity to grow from it. Look at what you've done in the last few months. You've taken the adversity of being removed from your classrooms to being confined to the other side of a computer screen. It is not easy, but all of you are working towards the next big thing in your life. It might be attending a university, a college, or a trade school. It could be moving out and finding a job to support yourself on your own. It could mean traveling, but it will be something different from what you have known up to this point in your life. It will be different no matter where you are and what you are doing, and you will learn from it undoubtedly. Empathy is the second quality I want to draw attention to. The Oxford Dictionary defines empathy as the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. It enables you to understand where another person is coming from, what they need, what motivates them to act the way they do. It is stronger than sympathy because it puts you in another person's situation, allowing you to understand and identify with their feelings, not just sharing their feelings. Empathy is for helping people and getting questions answered and getting things done. Often these can be difficult things, but that is why you are, ne you are needed to help. How can you help someone without knowing or understanding what they need? I've had many students come and sit down with me to share their successes and many more come and share their pain. Some of the students who have sat across from me didn't even take my classes, but they had heard that I would listen. I count myself truly blessed to be available for students and to provide a safe place that they feel that they can come to unpack and sort their problems. Empathy requires you to open your heart to someone and put their needs ahead of your own. Empathy makes the world a better place, and that is something all of us can contribute to. The final quality I want to impress upon you is kindness. I will be honest here that I hold this one in very high esteem for many reasons. I have seen the power that shines in the presence of kindness and the absolute devastation in its absence. I have seen the student who sits alone at lunch in a room full of people or walks the halls alone and must move out of the way of others. I will readily admit that as a student, I was not always kind, and that is one of my greatest regrets. How easy is it for us to be kind to one another? Something as simple as a smile or a hello can absolutely turn someone's day around. It is often easier for us to show kindness to a stranger than it is to someone we are familiar with. Why is that? As a teacher, I see the students who are left out, and I try to gather them. As a teacher, I often ask students to include some of their classmates who might be feeling left out, and you never let me down in this. I have known this group of students to be very accepting, and I thank you for that. Mr. Fred Rogers told us that there are three ways to ultimate success. The first way is to be kind. The second way is to be kind. The third way is to be kind. I would like to close with a final wish for you, class of 2020. As you move towards your next big adventure, 
I wish for you to realize how important you truly are to your families, your friends, and to your teachers. You have made an impact on everyone you have met to this day, and you will continue to do so throughout the rest of your lives. That sort of connectedness can seem daunting, but if you remember to approach things with a kind heart and confidence in yourself, you will do great things. Thank you again, and I wish you the very best. Always. Thank you, Mr. Dorn. Lastly, we'd like to welcome our valedictorian for the graduating class of 2020, JT Luderbach, to give his speech. JT is a well-rounded young man who thrives in the class, on the ice, and in the community. Anyone who knows JT speaks highly of him and his dedication to his studies is evident. This past year, JT received 100% on two diploma exams, a feat unmatched in Rocky View schools. We are confident that JT will go on to great things in the future and are thrilled to welcome him to share his thoughts. Hi everybody. Welcome distinguished guests, virtuous faculty, families, and fellow graduates. I'm honored and humbled to be chosen to represent Birchurch's graduating class of 2020. I know this is not the graduation ceremony many of us envisioned and have been looking forward to for a long time now, but that does not take away from the fact that this is a big deal. We may not be in alphabetically ordered rows. We may not be sitting on those annoying chairs with the uncomfortable metal rivets digging to our back or grabbing onto our hair. We may not even be watching this at the same time for that matter, but the gravity of this achievement does not change. We are still graduates. Throughout the many ups and downs we have faced, both as individuals and as a graduating class, we have grown into amazing people that are ready, now more than ever, to get out into the world and live our lives. As we approach the end of our public school education, I think it's only fitting that we look back to where we all started this journey, the first day of kindergarten. Some of us jumped out of the car, waved goodbye to our teary-eyed parents, and we're off, running so fast that our tightly packed pencil cases had no choice but to explode, sending pencil crayons flying throughout our Monsters, Inc. backpacks. Others of us required a little more convincing about this whole school thing, hesitant about whether the chain link fence was to keep others out or to keep us in. If you had an older sibling at school, you might have known where you're getting yourself into. But if you were the pioneer of the family, then you were heading into uncharted territory. Little did we know at the time, but that day was the start of a 13 year long adventure. One that would take us from the proving grounds of four square and bad math minutes to the grade nine dance room with Fergs, where we all awkwardly shuffled around pretending to call what we were doing dancing. And finally to the learning conference where we did our diploma exams, except for this semester, and those who are taking Math 30-1 this semester can consider themselves lucky. Fast forward to the fall of 2016, and personally I had just moved to Airdrie a couple weeks before starting grade 9. It was good timing for me, as all of us were new to the mysterious red brick fortress with trees growing inside it called Bird Church High School. It was here that I met many of you for the very first time that September, and during our long and winding journey together, I've got to say, we've done some pretty amazing things. These accomplishments span across our school, and help to create the successful and inclusive culture that we as a grad class can pride ourselves on. From the brilliant performances showcased in the theater, to the jaw-dropping athletic feats executed on the field or on the court, including our unified sports teams, we have a gift for giving the fans a performance they will not easily forget. We filled the stands and supported one another, even if that event was not really your passion. We have also been able to inspire and demonstrate our excellence in leadership, by hosting the Alberta Student Leadership Conference in the spring of 2018, the inaugural Relay for Life in the spring of 2019, which raised over $22,000 to help fight cancer, and the Linker Program, where our grade 11s and 12s mentor incoming students and work to create a sustainable, positive culture at Bird Church that will be around long after we leave. Not to mention, we might have even learned a thing or two in the classroom over our time at Bird Church. All of these incredible events have taught us invaluable lessons that we can take from our time here and use in the future. We are proud representatives of Birchurch High School and the culture surrounding it. Although we may forget every once in a while, it is important to remember that school is about more than just the students. We've had many amazing teachers, administrators, support staff and coaches shape our time here at Birchurch. It may not have been apparent at the time, but we really appreciate your dedication and commitment to each of us. We appreciate how you pushed us, encouraged us, and supported us these past few years, and know that we would not be where we are today without you. Each one of us probably has a different favorite teacher 
or for some, a favorite assistant principal given how much time we've spent together. We recognize how much they helped us both in and out of the classroom. And while we rarely said it, on behalf of the grads, thank you Birchurch staff for your help, your guidance, and for allowing us to rewrite that particularly challenging test. We know that you are there for us when we need you and hope that it is okay if we reach out in the future for more help. My next thank you on behalf of the grads goes out to all our personal chefs, to the iPad wielding photographers, and the Uber drivers, more commonly known as our families. Even though our diplomas may only have our names printed on them, that is just a technicality, as you cannot achieve great things alone, and we will be fools to think that without you in our corner, we'd be where we are today. Your support has helped guide us to the successes we have achieved so far in life, and will continue to point us in the right direction towards our future successes. So for all that you have done, and all that you'll continue to do, we say thanks. Okay, back to us. To my fellow grads, thank you for all your contributions to Bird Church life. You have impressed me with your passion, with your willingness to help others, and with your friendship. I've enjoyed our time together and am proud to call myself a member of the Bird Church graduating class of 2020. In the past, graduation has been a time for families to take a short break from their hectic lives and enjoy each other's company while reflecting on their graduates' accomplishments. It is a nostalgic place, as for many it symbolizes the ending of one significant chapter. For some, it is the last time that they will be together with their family before flipping the page to begin writing the next chapter of their life. Because of the circumstances we are in right now, we graduates have been put in a very interesting situation. Instead of having one weekend to reflect on our efforts and how far we've come, we've had months to do this, while spending a great deal of time with our loved ones. Of course, this pandemic definitely has many negatives, but I believe that it has also made everyone more grateful and appreciative of all the opportunities and memories made during high school. While we may be missing out on collaborating in the classroom, getting together with friends at lunch, hanging out on the weekends, or even saying hi to someone in the halls, we are still in this together. COVID-19 has reminded us to never take a moment with friends or a moment of doing what we love for granted. These are the moments that make life special. As we begin to look to the future, we must remember the importance of remaining connected. At times, including this current period of social isolation, it may feel like you're on your own to face life's challenges. I encourage you to remember the value of connections. Please do not close the doors around you and see the worst in people. Instead, reach out to friends and family for help and support. Be the person who checks in with others and be supportive when someone reaches out to you. It is important in life to both give and be willing to receive kindness. Both actions show great strength and character. In the coming weeks, we will head in many different directions, but let's commit to maintaining the inclusive community we have built here at Bird Church. Let's commit to remaining connected. We've now reached a time in our lives where the days of relying on adults for everything are behind us. Whether it be from our parents, who are sick of making us school lunches, or from our younger siblings and peers, who are envious of our newfound freedom, we are starting to be in the driver's seat of our own lives. And just like when we got our licenses, we will get in some fender benders, but we'll learn from those mistakes. It is important that you take your newly found independence to be a positive, contributing member of society. The opportunity to choose how we exemplify what we hold most valuable is now in our hands. We have the ability to influence our communities, province, nation, and even the world. This can sound intimidating and even exaggerated, but every action, every opinion, every vote, and every kind gesture will add up to make a difference. So my challenge for you is to take the opportunities we have been afforded and to make the world a better place because of these opportunities. It is imperative that we leave the world better than how we found it. To conclude, which happens to be everyone's favorite paragraph starter in a long speech, we have taken on countless challenges and our best is yet to come. You thought you were gonna make it through my speech without a quote, but not so fast. If the future looks daunting to you, Remember the wise words of Dory from Finding Nemo. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Things happen for a reason and life works in mysterious ways. We may not know what tomorrow will bring, but we do know that whatever the future brings, we will be able to adapt and make the most out of any situation if we just keep swimming forward. Congratulations grads of 2020, we did it. Thank you, JT. Without further ado, the BCHS staff proudly presents the graduating class 
of 2020. Cameron Adamo. Congratulations, Cameron. Best of luck in your future endeavors. DJ Agape. DJ's most memorable high school experience was always basketball season. DJ plans to work in a car dealership in the future and would like to thank his basketball coaches. Muhammad Al Hussein Awi. Honors. Muhammad's most memorable high school experience was moving to Airdrie and transferring to Burt Church. Muhammad will be attending university in the fall unless he becomes super rich out of nowhere. Muhammad would like to thank his teachers, family, and friends for showing him how much he can achieve. Natalie Alexander, honors. Natalie's most memorable high school experience was eating lunch in the art room. Natalie plans to take a gap year while working and finishing to write her book. Natalie would like to thank Mr. Smith for inspiring her to write a novel. Lucas Alway, honors. Lucas's most memorable high school experience was the Horn vs. Ferguson rap battle in grade 9 and grade 11. Lucas plans to pursue a degree in psychology while playing lacrosse in the States and would like to thank his teachers and football coaches for helping him through his four years at Burt Church. Joelle Anderson. Joelle's most memorable high school experience was going to Mr. Horn's Focus every day and spending time with her friends. Joelle will be attending the University of Lethbridge in the fall to pursue a career in teaching. Joelle would like to thank her family, friends, Miss Bellavo, Miss King, and Mr. Horn. Jasmine Araneta. Jasmine hopes to travel in the future and would like to thank her family and friends. Sam Arnold. Honors. After graduation, Sam will be attending the University of Alberta to pursue a degree in pharmacology before attending graduate school. Sam would like to thank Mr. McRae and Mr. Horn. Casey Arnott. Casey's most memorable high school experience was the numerous band trips and being able to spend so much time in the band room. Casey hopes to attend post-secondary to become a social worker in the future. Casey would like to thank her parents for always encouraging her to be better and her teachers for helping her every step of the way. Talia Batchez. Talia's most memorable high school experience were how friendly the teachers were. Talia plans to go into the psychology field and would like to thank Mr. Lucas for being a breath of fresh air during the time she had him as a teacher. Taylor Barr. Taylor's most memorable high school experience was meeting her best friends of a lifetime. She plans to become a paramedic to help save lives in the most dire of times. She would like to thank her friends and family for being her main support systems and an extra special thanks to Madison Rust for pushing her to achieve her dreams. Jaya Bansell, honors. Jaya's most memorable high school experience was being accepted into the CAP program during her grade 10 year. Jaya aspires to pursue a career in medical sciences and would like to thank her teachers for helping her succeed. Lyrish Bantes. Lyrish's most memorable high school experience was being able to skip grade nine and progress straight to grade 10. Lyrish has hopes to work as a pediatrician and would like to thank her teachers and parents. Carter Barfus. After high school, Carter plans to serve a two-year mission and would like to thank his parents for always bringing him to his sports games and practices throughout high school. Logan Bass. Logan's most memorable high school experience was when Mr. Burns accidentally ripped his shirt while flexing his muscles. Logan hopes to become a head chef in the future and would like to thank every teacher who ever put up with him. Zoe Bateman. After graduation, Zoe plans to attend Red Deer College to pursue a career in film production. Jaden Baddock. Jaden's most memorable high school experience was taking part in the annual musicals. Jaden plans to take a gap year to save money for university the following year. Jaden would like to thank her friends for making great memories, her family for always supporting her, Mr. Goodyear for being the best teacher and director ever, and Mr. Horn for reminding her that sleep is very important. Anthony Batres Diaz. Anthony's most memorable high school experience was finishing strong in a tough class. Anthony plans to complete a broadcasting and radio degree and would like to thank Jacob Berman. Bronson Beatty. Congratulations, Bronson. Good luck in all of your future endeavors. Michael Beitzel. Michael's most memorable high school experience was the many stories told by Mr. Burns. Michael plans on working after graduation and would like to thank Ms. Birch B. Martin and Ms. Bratz. Ethan Bell, honorable mention. Ethan's most memorable high school experience was having the opportunity to play for the Chargers football team. Ethan will be attending SAIT this fall to study film and video production and would like to thank his parents, teachers, and the boys. 
Marino Bentley. Marino's most memorable high school experience was renting the Audi. Marino hopes to work his way up to CEO of a company and would like to thank Mr. Reed for always helping him and making his grade 12 year something worth remembering. Jacob Berg. Congratulations, Jacob. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Jacob Berman, honorable mention. Jacob's most memorable high school experience was having fun times with his friends at lunch. Jacob will be attending the University of Calgary to study political science. Jacob would like to thank his parents for helping him succeed, Anthony for being a true and loyal friend, and Mr. McRae for helping him develop his passion and knowledge of social studies. Megan Bishop. Megan's most memorable high school experience was traveling to Ontario. Megan hopes post-secondary will be coming soon and would like to thank her family, friends, and the boys. Gonzalo Blades. Gonzo's most memorable high school experience was working at the Education Centre. He also enjoyed swimming, music, and pizza parties with his class. He would like to thank Mrs. Wong, Ms. Campbell, Mrs. Clifford, and Ms. Hoffman. Jessica Bonnert. Honours. Jessica's most memorable high school experience was meeting some of the greatest friends she could ever ask for. Jessica will be attending university this fall to pursue a degree in biology. Jessica would like to thank her teachers for helping her through this journey and her parents for their love and support. Gavin Bordenuck, Honorable Mansion. Gavin's most memorable high school experience was being able to experience many leadership opportunities and be a part of Link Crew. Gavin hopes to travel, meet new people, and gain new experiences in the future. Gavin would like to thank any teachers, friends, or classmates who have pushed him to do more. Lisa Bosch, Honours. Lisa's most memorable high school experience was getting to meet all her friends. Lisa will be attending the University of Calgary to further her studies and would like to thank her friends and family for their continuous support. Sophia Brisbane. Sophia's most memorable high school experience was attending Horizons Leadership Conference. Sophia plans to pursue a career in agriculture and would like to thank her family for always supporting her. Leland Broughton. Congratulations, Leland. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Sydney Brown, Honours. Sydney's most memorable high school experience was the performing arts trip to New York City. Sydney plans on completing a Bachelor of Fine Arts and then pursuing a career in musical theatre. Sydney would like to thank Mr. Goodyear, Mr. McRae, and her family for always supporting her big Broadway dreams. Kiara Buckle. Kiara's most memorable high school experience was watching High School Musical in Mr. Bloomhagen's class. Kiara plans on attending Mount Royal to play baseball and study social work. Kiara would like to thank her parents and Mr. Bloomhagen. Jack Cliff. Jack's most memorable high school experience was band class. Jack is still unsure of what his future holds, but would like to thank all the teachers and staff of Bird Church. Owen Corey, Honours. Owen's most memorable high school experience was traveling to Saskatchewan. Owen plans to visit Pyongyang and would like to thank his family, friends, and Miss Beliveau for putting up with his math class. Caitlin Couillard. Caitlin's most memorable high school experience was the many band trips. Caitlin hopes to become a radio personality and would like to thank Mr. Dorner for being the best support she could ever ask for. Andrew Crawford. Andrew's most memorable high school experience was having his senior year cut short because of a global pandemic. In the future, Andrew would like to dedicate his time to helping people. Andrew would like to thank all his amazing friends who have stuck by him since grade nine. Skylar Curry. Skylar's most memorable high school experience was joining the Chargers football team. Skylar would like to thank his family, especially his brother and mom. Maddie Dack, honorable mention. Maddie's most memorable high school experience was getting to be a part of the production of The Little Mermaid. Maddie plans to take a gap year to travel before pursuing a career in the arts. Maddie would like to thank Mr. Crawley for being the best teacher she never had. Luong Dang. Luong's most memorable high school experience was passing math. After graduation, Luong plans to go with the flow and would like to thank his parents and close friends who have helped him through so much. Nathaniel Davis, Honours. Nathaniel's most memorable high school experience was running the technical side of ASLIC 2018. Nathaniel hopes to live his life doing work he enjoys and would like to thank Mr. Potvin, Mr. Lawson, 
Miss Minion, Mrs. King, Mr. Goodyear, and Mr. Horn. Tristan Derrick, Honors. Tristan's most memorable high school experience were all the theater productions he was involved in. Tristan plans to pursue a career in either aviation or in the police force, and would like to thank all of his friends and teachers who helped him through high school. Haley Dixon. Haley's most memorable high school experience was attending the St Canadian Student Leadership Conference and having the opportunity to meet many people from all across Canada. Haley plans to study veterinary and medicine outside of the province and would like to thank her mom and dad, Mr. Kirk, and her friends. Liam Doyle, Honours. Liam's most memorable high school experience was playing football for the Chargers. Liam will be attending SATE in the fall to further his studies and would like to thank his teachers, family, and friends. Travis Dudka. Travis's most memorable high school experience was the Horn versus Ferg's rap battle in grade 9 and grade 11. Travis would like to thank his parents for keeping him alive. Jack Duff. Jack's most memorable high school experience is graduating. Jack plans to continue to pursue happiness in the future and would like to thank Mr. Pierce for 20 years of teaching. Mason Dick, Honors. Mason's most memorable high school experience was working out in the Fitz Center after school. Mason plans to pursue a science degree and would like to thank Mr. Burns, Ms. Smith, and Mr. Verhees. Joe Dyson. Joe's most memorable high school experience was being able to attend all the trips and events with her friends. Joe would like to continue to learn while also traveling and would like to thank her family and friends. Carter Emsley. Carter's most memorable high school experience is graduation. Carter hopes to be successful in the future and would like to thank Mr. Pierce for making class fun and being so chill. Ethan English, Honours. Ethan's most memorable high school experience was making many new friends and getting closer to old ones. After graduation, Ethan plans to live his life and see where it takes him. Ethan would like to thank his friends who have helped him get through most of high school and made him feel like he was supported. Joshua Fullman, Honourable Mention. Josh's most memorable high school experience was playing for the Chargers football team. Josh hopes to pursue a career in firefighting and would like to thank his mom and dad. Alexa Feener. After graduation, Alexa plans on working as an auto body welder. Alexa would like to thank her family and Mr. Sweetapple for always pushing her to be her best. Macy Fields, honorable mention. Macy's most memorable high school experience was the performing arts trips to New York City. Macy plans on attending the University of Alberta to pursue her passion in the fine arts. Macy would like to thank her supportive family, Miss Schritter, and her day one homies. Boston Fluette, honorable mention. Boston's most memorable high school experience was working out in the Fitz Center every day after school. Boston hopes to become a police officer and would like to give a special thanks to Mrs. Smith, Mr. Burns, and Mr. Furhees for being like a family to him. Haley Funk, Honors. Haley's most memorable high school experience was the Soap for Hope project she participated in. Haley plans to continue her education at university and would like to thank her family and friends, especially her parents and grandparents for always being there for her. Jordan Gagnon, Honours. Jordan's most memorable high school experience was creating a One Direction shrine in her locker. Jordan will be attending the University of Alberta in the fall to pursue a career in linguistics. Jesslyn Gallant. Jesslyn's most memorable high school experience is graduating. Jesslyn plans on attending Hare School and would like to thank Mr. Bloomhagen, Ms. Booker, and Chef Sheets for teaching her many skills. William Gallia, Honours. William's most memorable high school experience was pumping iron and applying knowledge. William plans to enroll into the Canadian Armed Forces and would like to sincerely thank all the teachers and staff of Burr Church. Jarek Hanobi. Jarek's most memorable high school experience was moving to Burr Church in his senior year. Jarek plans to take a gap year and travel to the Philippines before heading to university to study pharmaceuticals. Jarek would like to thank all his teachers and peers for making his last year in high school more interesting and his friends Lyrish and Caitlin. Aiden Giesbrecht. Aiden's most memorable high school experience was recording nonsensical conversation with Jasmine Weeb on the last day of grade 10. After graduation, Aiden plans on going into software engineering. Aiden would like to thank the academy. Colton Geekus. 
After graduation, Colton plans to pursue a career in commercial real estate and entrepreneurship. Colton would like to thank Mr. Dorner for being such a genuine guy and providing such great advice. Colton says he appreciates every conversation he ever had with Mr. Dorner. Abby Gertzen, Honors. Abby's most memorable high school experience was being co-captain of the volleyball team during her senior year. Abby will be attending Trinity Western University to study nursing and would like to thank her sister for always buying her Tims on her worst days and her mom for showing her how to be a strong woman. Taryn Goodall, Honors. Taryn's most memorable high school experience was that time in grade 11 when she watched Ferris Bueller's day off two times in two different classes in two weeks. But more seriously, all the conferences she was lucky enough to attend through leadership. Next year, Taryn is attending the University of Lethbridge to pursue a Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology and would like to thank her family and teachers for helping her get where she is. Robin Grant. Robin's most memorable high school experience was meeting her two best friends in grade 9 French class. Robin will be attending a university in the United States to play NCAA hockey and would like to thank her family, friends, and teammates. Mackenzie Gray. Mackenzie's most memorable high school experience was singing Bohemian Rhapsody at the Hard Rock Cafe in Seattle during the band trip. Mackenzie will be attending Bow Valley College in the fall to study nursing and would like to thank her parents for always believing in her. Jesse Gregg. Jesse's most memorable high school experience was being a part of the Building Futures program during grade 10. Jesse is still unsure of what career path to pursue, but cannot wait to see where his future goes. Jesse would like to thank his parents, sports coaches, and teachers for helping him to succeed. Alyssa Grieve, Honors. Alyssa's most memorable high school experience was winning the 2019 Girls Soccer Zones. Alyssa will be attending Olds College, where she plans to play women's soccer and study sports management. Alyssa would like to thank everyone who has supported her, especially her parents who have guided her every step of the way. Jesse Gilderson, Honorable Mention. Jesse's most memorable high school experience was all of grade nine. Jesse hopes to make straight cash in the future and would like to thank his dog, Lucy. Trace and Hader, Honors. After graduation, Trayson plans to work. Trayson would like to thank a hefty majority of his teachers. Michaela Hamill. After high school, Michaela plans to take a year off to explore her interests. Michaela would like to thank her parents and teachers for always supporting her. Ben Harris, honors. After graduation, Ben plans on taking a year off to work. Ben would like to thank his parents for giving him the confidence to work hard throughout the past 12 years of his life. He would also like to thank Kanye West for making some absolute hits he could listen to in class. Chase Harris, honorable mention. Chase's most memorable high school experience was the whole four years itself. Chase would like to thank his teachers for always putting up with him. Jacelyn Hawes. Jason's most memorable high school experience was standing on stage during the production of The Little Mermaid as their curtains closed one last time. Jason would like to pursue a career in theater and hopes to be on Broadway one day. Jason would like to thank her family, Mr. Goodyear, Nose Creek players, and her best friends, Jaden and Sydney. Brody Heck. Brody's most memorable high school experience was having the opportunity to make great friends. Brody hopes to live a fulfilled life and continue to learn every day. Brody would like to thank his great family for always supporting him and making his life even better. Danielle Hernandez. Danielle's most memorable high school experience was being able to be a part of the BCHS sports teams. Danielle will be attending SAIT to study engineering design and drafting technology and would like to thank her parents. Walker Hindman. Honorable mention. After graduating, Walker plans to pursue a career in graphic design. Walker would like to thank his mother. Maya Hobbs, honorable mention. Maya's most memorable high school experience was being very boisterous with her friends in French 9. Maya will be pursuing a science degree and would like to thank her family and friends. Oyin Demola Hodonu. After graduation, Demola plans on sleeping, because she definitely did not get any sleep because of y'all and then attending university to work hard and make some coin. 
Damola would like to thank her mom and family for always supporting her in all she does, her friends for helping her create awesome memories, and Mrs. King for always choosing kindness. Caitlin Honkala, Honorable Mention. Caitlin's most memorable high school experience was hanging out under the stairs with her friends. In the future, Caitlin plans on eating, sleeping, and repeating. Caitlin would like to thank Google, Wikipedia, and whoever created copy and paste. Madison Hughes, Honors. Madison's most memorable high school experience was having the opportunity to participate in the CAP program during her grade 10 year. Madison will be attending Thompson Rivers University to pursue a degree in natural resource science before getting her master's. Madison would like to thank Mr. Netzel for dealing with her the past four years, as well as her parents who inspired her to go into the natural resource field. McKenna Jackman. McKenna's most memorable high school experience was passing her diplomas. McKenna plans to study with professional medical associates to become a paramedic and would like to thank her family and Kara Schiffner. Seth Jackson, Honorable Mention. Seth's most memorable high school experience was the crazy lunches he spent with his friends. Seth plans on serving a two-year mission with his church and would like to thank his parents for always being there for him. Xanthi Jameson, Honorable Mention. Xanthi's most memorable high school experience was all the fun times she had in French class. Xanthi plans on attending Mount Royal University to pursue a degree in business administration and would like to thank her friends and family. David Janes, Honours. David's most memorable high school experience was being a part of the Building Futures program in grade 10. David hopes to settle down, buy land and build a home. David would like to thank his father for showing him what it means to become a man. Evelina Javorski. Evelina's most memorable high school experience was attending Skillshares Canada. Evelina hopes to pursue new media production and graphic design and would like to give a special thanks to Mr. Crawley for putting up with her throughout the years and providing her with a safe space to grow. Gracie Jenkins, Honours. Gracie's most memorable high school experience was the performing arts trip to New York City. Gracie plans to travel the world and would like to thank Mr. Goodyear and Ms. Schritter for encouraging her path in the fine arts. Ethan Jensen, Honorable Mention. Ethan's most memorable high school experience was hosting A Slick in 2018 and attending C Slick, as well as making memories with his friends. Ethan plans on soaring high among the clouds as a fighter pilot because he feels the need for speed. Ethan would like to thank all his teachers who helped him persevere through high school, his friends who were always there to pick him up when times got rough, and his parents who always pushed him to improve and always to do a little bit better. Colby Jessam. Colby's most memorable high school experience was shaving Mr. Bloomhagen's beard off last year. Colby is considering attending post-secondary but ultimately hopes to work in law enforcement. Colby would like to thank his family, friends, and Mr. Dorner. Lena Johnson. Lena's most memorable high school experience was shaving Mr. Bloomhagen's beard in front of the school last year. In the future, Lena plans to open her own at-home aesthetics business. Lena would like to thank her parents, Mr. Bloomhagen, Ms. Schritter, and Ms. D for always making her laugh when times were hard. Nicole Johnson. Nicole's most memorable high school experience was being able to meet so many great friends and teachers. Nicole plans to become a mechanic like her uncle Luke and would like to thank Mr. Reed, Ms. Law, Ms. Kissinger, Mr. Verhees, and Ms. Bryant. Adriana Kadura. Adriana's most memorable high school experience was learning to cook in foods class. She also enjoyed playing unified sports with her friends. She would like to thank Miss Dahl and her friends Jaden, Noah, and Connor. Cole Kilback. Cole's most memorable high school experience was being able to create such great relationships with others. Cole plans to attend post-secondary in the future and would like to thank his mom, Jen, and his dad, Kyle. Michaela Koenig. Honorable mention. Michaela's most memorable high school experience was Mr. Kirk zapping her with the EMS machine during sports medicine. Michaela plans on attending university and hopes to travel to experience different cultures and opportunities. Michaela would like to thank her family for always supporting her and pushing her to do her best. Tyler Cosma. Tyler's most memorable high school experience was meeting so many cool people in the span of the one semester he attended BCHS. 
Tyler plans to pursue a career in information security and ethical hacking and would like to thank Mr. Remus Everett, who taught like a father and mentored like a friend. Robert Crample. Congratulations, Robert. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Cassandra Croker. Cassandra's most memorable high school experience was being accepted into the CAP program in grade 10. Cassandra plans to take a year off and then study criminal justice at university. Cassandra would like to thank her parents for the endless amounts of support they gave her. Carter Kylo. After graduation, Carter hopes to pursue a career in mechanics. Mitchell Lang. Mitchell's most memorable high school experience was traveling to Seattle for the band trip. Mitchell plans to take a year off and he can't wait to see what happens after. He would like to thank Mr. Dorner for being a therapist to all his students. Jamin Laton. Congratulations, Jamin. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Kaylee Lavardier. Kaylee's most memorable high school experience was both sports medicine and chemistry 30. Kaylee plans on taking a gap year to upgrade her courses, then hopes to pursue a career in kinesiology. Kaylee would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers that have been with her throughout the years. Brendan Lawrence. Brendan's most memorable high school experience was meeting all the boys. Brendan hopes to attend Mount Royal University to study sport and recreation management, and would like to thank his parents for supporting him through high school. Mason Lloyd, honorable mention. Mason's most memorable high school experience was being around his friends all day. Mason plans to spend his life traveling and eating fine dishes. Mason would like to thank his family and friends for inspiring him to grow as a person and always do better. Hunter Lucier. After graduation, Hunter hopes to study criminology. Kyla Lowe, honorable mention. Kyla's most memorable high school experience was attending BCHS sports games with her friends. Kyla plans to study at SAIT and pursue a career as a paralegal. Kyla would like to thank her friends and family who inspire her to work hard and her dad because he too could not figure out her math homework. Brennan Lucas, honors. Brennan's most memorable high school experience was watching all the grade nines get scared of Mr. Pierce. Brennan will be taking a year off to play junior hockey. Brennan would like to thank Mr. Burns and Mrs. Smith for pushing him to continue coming to the gym after school every day. JT Luderbach, honors. JT's most memorable high school experience was the aquaponics project in Miss Law's grade nine science class. JT plans on doing some pretty cool stuff after high school and would like to thank the entire Global Sport Academy team, along with his family, for everything they've taught him. Sky Lyle. Sky's most memorable high school experience was finishing high school. Sky hopes to get a good job after graduation and would like to thank himself and the many people who got him to this point. Alexander McGregor. Alexander's most memorable high school experience was building fish tanks in his grade nine science class. Alexander plans to work before attending university and would like to thank Mr. Horn for being a great dude to talk to. Nicholas McGregor. Nicholas' most memorable high school experience was at the end of his grade 11 year when he felt that the entire class of 2020 was there to support one another during their final year at Burt Church. Nicholas will be studying culinary at SAIT in the fall and would like to thank Lori McGregor, Darcy McGregor, his brothers and his sister, as well as his oldest friend, James Gamboa. Kaylee McKenzie. Kaylee's most memorable high school experience was sports medicine and being able to hear Mr. Kirk's jokes. Kaylee plans to study paramedics at SAIT and would like to thank Mr. Kirk for being her go-to and Ms. Cartwright for always believing in her no matter what. Connor Maklem. Connor's most memorable high school experiences were going on field trips to the zoo, Callaway Park, and Unified Basketball Tournaments. He would like to thank Ms. Dow, Mr. Jones, Mrs. Clifford, Ms. Campbell, and Ms. Varner. Avery Marnellos. Avery's most memorable high school experience was socializing with friends and guitar while playing music. Avery plans to attend college and continue to create art. Avery would like to thank Mr. Burns, Mrs. Rendell, Mr. Dorner, and Ms. Tritter. Dana Matt, honors. After graduation, Dana will be attending SAIT to study business administration. Dana would like to thank her family and friends. Colton McBride. After graduation, Colton hopes to continue to gain valuable life experiences 
Colton would like to thank Mr. Lord Larson and Mr. Bates. Alex McEwing, honors. Alex's most memorable high school experience was meeting some of the best friends he ever had. Alex plans to pursue a career in social work and would like to thank his parents for learning his math homework with him. Jade McFarlane Wright. Jade's most memorable high school experience was taking part in the performing arts trip to New York City. Jade plans to travel the world and experience other cultures and would like to thank her friends who gladly lost brain cells alongside her. Liam McIntosh. Liam's most memorable high school experience was throwing up on his friend Matthias during the band trip to Vancouver in grade 9. Liam hopes to own a parrot in the future and would like to thank both his family and the Atwood family for keeping him sane. Libby McNeil. Libby's most memorable high school experience was getting to experiment with the lithium battery in the snow. Libby would like to thank Misha Collins, her mom and dad, Buffy Summers, and her former English teachers for the support they provided her with. Nicola Mansinger. Nicola's most memorable high school experience was transferring to Burt Church. Nicola would like to thank Mr. McCreel for always putting up with her and supporting her. Jacob Miller. Jacob's most memorable high school experience was always goofing around with other people. Jacob hopes to attend university and would like to thank Mr. Pierce, Ms. Randell, and Ms. Smith. Evan Miskey. After graduation, Evan plans to work while traveling the world. Evan would like to give a big thank you to his parents and to his sister for doing his homework. Zoe Moran. Zoe's most memorable high school experience was making jokes in Mr. Smith's English class. Zoe plans to take a gap year in work before attending college. Zoe would like to thank her parents for supporting her through the years, as well as her good friend Natalie Alexander for never failing to make her laugh. Logan Morrison. Congratulations, Logan. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Valerie Moss. Valerie's most memorable high school experience was the end of her first year of mechanics in grade 11 and realizing that this was what she wanted to do with her life. Valerie plans to attend SATE in order to become a journeyman mechanic and get her red seal in the automotive mechanics trade. Valerie would like to thank Mr. Teasdale for helping her realize what she wanted to do with her life and for always showing her compassion and understanding when she was struggling. Owen Mott. Owen Mott's most memorable high school experience was meeting all his friends. Owen hoped to get a stable job in the future and would like to thank all his teachers. Sorian Mwafo. Sorian's most memorable high school experience was the many times she spent laughing with her friends. Sorian plans on attending university and would like to thank her family and teachers for the encouragement and support they have provided her with. Denithi Mudalij, honors. Denithi's most memorable high school experience was moving to Airdrie, having a fresh start and being able to form new memories and meet new people. Denithi will be attending the University of Calgary for neuroscience in the fall and hopes to go to medical school after. Denithi would like to thank all the teachers that she's had for always being there to answer the millions of questions she had and her parents and friends for always supporting her. Hayden Muse. Congratulations, Hayden. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Jordy Murdoch. After graduation, Jordy plans to continue his education at university. Jordy would like to thank the boys. Guadalupe Newstater. Guadalupe's most memorable high school experience was meeting her sister Jasmine. Guadalupe is still deciding on her future plans but will go wherever life takes her. She would like to give a special thank you to the realest teacher out there, Mr. Bloomhagen, as she wouldn't have made it through school without him. Blaise Newberry, honorable mention. Blaise's most memorable high school experience was playing football for the Chargers and catching the ball that took the team to provincials for the first time in 23 years. Blaise will be playing football for the University of Calgary in the fall and would like to thank his mom, Nancy. Alexander Norris. Alex's most memorable high school experience was receiving the Rookie of the Year Award in soccer. Alex plans on traveling and would like to thank Miss King for being the best teacher he has ever had. Christian Nokiki. Christian's most memorable high school experience was the annual band trip. After graduation, Christian hopes to serve as a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Christian would like to thank his friends and family. Aubrey Nye, Honours. 
After graduation, Aubrey plans to pursue graphic designing so she can bring her stories to light through a new medium. Aubrey would like to thank all the staff who worked so hard to make sure school went smoothly for her. Rihanna Orsted. Rihanna's most memorable high school experience was meeting so many amazing people on her first day of grade nine. Rihanna hopes to pursue a career in social work and would like to thank her teachers, parents, and boyfriend for getting her where she is today. Kai Parakin. Kai's most memorable high school experience was spending time under the stairs with wonderful friends at lunch. Kai plans to spend his life learning, making mistakes, and sleeping in. Kai would like to thank his friends who helped him get through his high school. Carson Payne. After graduation, Carson plans to further his education at a post-secondary institution and later on raise a family. Annika Peterson. Honours. Annika's most memorable high school experience was the 2019 New York trip. Annika plans to pursue a career in music and would like to thank her parents as well as every music teacher she has ever had. Lauren Penny. Lauren's most memorable high school experience was finding her true friends. Lauren hopes to go into journalism in the future and would like to thank her teachers for always pushing her to work harder, her parents for allowing her to exceed her abilities, and her peers for shaping her into the person she is today. Tyler Perot. Tyler's most memorable high school experience was simply learning. Tyler plans to get a job and make minimum wage and would like to thank his mother and father as without them he'd be about as smart as a tree. Logan Perry, Honorable Mention. Logan's most memorable high school experience was the feeling of anxiousness and excitement he felt on the first day of grade nine. Logan is planning to study nursing at the University of Saskatchewan and would like to thank his teachers who helped him to get closer to his future endeavors. Jocelyn Pierce, Honours. Jocelyn's most memorable high school experience was meeting her best friends through basketball and badminton. Jocelyn plans to play basketball at SAIT while continuing her education. Jocelyn would like to thank her parents and all of her coaches over the years, especially Mr. Kirk and Mr. Bloomhagen, for continually pushing her to be the best she can be. Riley Pochapsky. Riley's most memorable high school experience was spending time in Mr. Pierce's class. Riley plans to go to college to study heavy duty mechanics and would like to thank his friends and family for their continued support over the years. Carson Pound. Carson's most memorable high school experience was being able to take the time to think and plan for his future. Carson hopes to pursue a career in acting, producing, and directing. Carson would like to thank all the teachers who put up with him and helped to shape him into a more diverse individual. Brooklyn Rapuano. Brooklyn's most memorable high school experience was meeting her good friends. Brooklyn hopes to go to university in the fall to study criminal justice and would like to thank her mom, her close friends, and Mrs. Cartwright. Dante Rea, honors. Dante's most memorable high school experience was making the 2019 Provincials. Dante will be attending the University of Calgary in the fall to study business. Dante would like to thank Mr. Horn for dealing with his Physics 30 class. Krista Rhodes. Krista's most memorable high school experience is graduation. Krista plans on attending SAIT in the fall to study professional cooking. Krista would like to thank Chef Sheets and Miss Booker for supporting her with her passion. Jaden Riley. Jaden's most memorable high school experience was carrying the flag onto the field for the football team. Jaden plans on moving out and working and would like to thank Ms. Dahl, Mr. Ferguson, and Ms. Chapman. Matthias Rinkle, Honours. Matthias's most memorable high school experience was the band trip to Seattle. Matthias hopes to take a gap year while traveling and would like to thank his family and teachers for getting him to where he currently is. Liv Robson. After graduation, Liv plans to earn lots of money. Liv would like to thank the teachers of Burt Church who are chill. Caleb Bristeski. Caleb's most memorable high school experience was the annual student teacher hockey games. After graduation, Caleb plans on pursuing a career as a hockey player or carpenter. Caleb would like to thank Linda, Dennis, and Aaron Rosteski. Amanda Rothenberg. Amanda's most memorable high school experience was meeting some of the best teachers she's ever had and creating strong relationships. 
After graduation, Amanda plans to work in character and environment design for a successful gaming company. Amanda would like to say thank you to her teachers and friends for helping her grow and that she will cherish the bonds she's created for many years to come. Caden Rotter. After graduation, Caden hopes to continue to play lacrosse and then get a job in oil and gas. Caden would like to give a special thank you to Mr. Dorner. Tyler Ruck, honorable mention. Tyler's most memorable high school experience was his senior football season with the Chargers. Tyler plans to play football while attending university. Madison Rust. Madison's most memorable high school experience was meeting her lifelong friends. Madison hopes to own her own bakery in the future and would like to thank her family and friends, as well as Taylor Barr for always being there for her and putting a smile on her face. Sarah Saba. Sarah's most memorable high school experience was being the only soprano to perform during a Christmas concert in 2018. Sarah hopes to major in English and progress to a career in childcare. Sarah would like to thank Mr. Dorner for always putting up with her consistent choir absences. Damien Sager. Damien's most memorable high school experience was the friends he made along the way. Damien hopes to do something worth living for in the future. Paige Sansom. Paige's most memorable high school experience was chemistry class with Mrs. King. Paige is planning on attending university and would like to thank her mom for always being so strong. Keenan Shell. Keenan's most memorable high school experience was his first day at Burt Church. Keenan plans on taking a gap year and then attending post-secondary. Keenan would like to thank Mr. Dorner for being a real one and Ms. Teamstra for putting me in the classes I needed to graduate. Kara Schiffner. Kara's most memorable high school experience was passing Mr. Horn's biology class. Kara hopes to become a first responder in the future and would like to thank her friend McKenna Jackman and her sister Christina Schiffner. Luther Schmidtke. Luther's most memorable high school experience was grade 11 physics class with Mr. Netzel. Luther plans on attending university to study physiotherapy and would like to thank the physics group. Angelina Scott. Honorable mention. Angelina's most memorable high school experience was being in the BCHS 2019 production of The Little Mermaid. Angelina would like to thank her friends for welcoming her into Burt Church and making her high school career so much better. Carter Scott. After graduation, Carter plans to attend a college in the U.S. after taking a gap year to train in baseball. Carter would like to thank his family and his homies. Steven Secreto. Congratulations, Steven. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Catherine Sefcik. Congratulations, Catherine. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Cassandra Sheltons. Cassandra's most memorable high school experience was joining the rugby team last year. Cassandra is still figuring out her future plans, but would like to thank Mr. Dorner for helping her always stay at her best. Logan Shrive. Logan's most memorable high school experience was being a part of the BCHS track team last year. Logan is planning on taking a gap year to improve his programming portfolio before attending college. Logan would like to thank his family and close friends. Jason Simnet. Jason's most memorable high school experience was removing and rebuilding an engine in mechanics class. Jason hopes to pursue a career in auto mechanics and would like to thank his parents, his nana, and his older cousin, Lyndon Terrett. Dominic Simpson. Congratulations, Dominic. Good luck in all of your future endeavors. Keely Sinclair Smith, honors. Keely's most memorable high school experience was when Gracie Jenkins got hit in the face with a rocket in Science 10. Keely plans on attending the University of Calgary for psychology in the fall and would like to thank her parents for their endless love and support and her teachers who helped her get to this point. Lexi Singer. Lexi's most memorable high school experience was transitioning to online learning during the COVID-19 outbreak. Lexi plans to move out and spend her time volunteering and would like to thank herself for never giving up. Jasmine Singh Kaur. Jasmine's most memorable high school experience was all the time she has spent with her friends. Jasmine will be attending Mount Royal University to obtain her degree in biology. Jasmine would like to thank her friends and family. Jenna Smith, honorable mention. 
Jenna's most memorable high school experience was getting to meet so many people and make such amazing friends. Jenna plans to work as a personal trainer or EMT in the future. Jenna would like to thank her parents for always supporting her, as well as Mr. McRae, Mr. Verhees, and Miss Martyr, who never failed to make every class fun and interesting. Dylan Sorsdahl, Honorable Mention. Dylan's most memorable high school experience was winning the 2019 Airdrie Bowl against George Mack. Dylan will be attending the University of Calgary in the fall to play for the Dinos football team and would like to thank all of his teachers for always helping him. Lexus Squires. Congratulations, Lexus. Best of luck in your future endeavors. John Stansu. John's most memorable high school experience was meeting many new friends. John plans to work as a floor installer in the future and would like to thank his mom and dad. J.C. Stevens. J.C.'s most memorable high school experience was having to pop a balloon between herself and a tall grade 12 at the orientation assembly on her first day of grade 9. J.C. plans on traveling and then hopes to become a flight attendant. J.C. would like to thank her mom for being her number one supporter and for pushing her to where she is today. Eli Stewart. Eli's most memorable high school experience was making new friends and she plans to work before continuing her education. Eli would like to thank Ms. Teamstra for always believing in her, supporting her, and being there for her during the roughest parts of her life. Dalen Stone. Dalen's most memorable high school experience was all of his German classes. Dalen plans to get bread in the future and would like to thank all his friends that helped him through this great adventure, as well as the boys who helped him in the best way possible. Desiree Sweetapple. After graduation, Desiree's main goal is to become a licensed practical nurse. She also plans on moving back to the West Coast, joining a theatre group, travelling and putting her French language skills to good use. Desiree wishes all the best to her classmates and sends her thanks to Mr. Bloxham and Miss Reinhardt. Desiree also sends much love to her dad and thanks him for being her shelter in the storm of high school. Caleb Taylor, Honours. Caleb's most memorable high school experience was being a part of the Burt Church High School production of The Drowsy Chaperone. Kayla plans to pursue neurosurgery in the future, and he would like to thank former Burt Church teacher Mr. Mickelson for having such a positive impact on his life. Quinn Thompson. Quinn's most memorable high school experience was doing Miss Martyr's boot camp and then never going back again. Quinn plans on attending Mount Royal University to study social work before progressing into child work. Quinn would like to thank all the gym teachers for listening to her complain every day. Alice Thwaites, honors. Alice's most memorable high school experience was holding the position of president of the student union during her senior year. Alice will be attending the University of Calgary to pursue a BSc in psychology and plans to work as a forensic profiler after completing her master's. Alice would like to thank her family and friends and Miss King, Miss Beliveau, and Mr. Horn for always listening to the newest gossip. Noah Bandwork. Noah's most memorable moment in high school was playing unified sports especially bocce ball. He was honored to go to the 2018 Special Olympics Ontario School Championships in Peterborough, Ontario and bring home a gold medal. He would like to thank Mr. Ferguson and Ms. Dow. Nathan Vandenbrink, honorable mention. Nathan's most memorable high school experience was being able to play two successful seasons on the Chargers football team and one with the Airdrie Raiders. Nathan plans to pursue a career as a police officer. Nathan would like to thank Ms. Booker, Mr. Dorner, and his football coach, Keith Ford, for teaching him valuable life skills. Kevin V. Barsiri. Ken's most memorable high school experience was the whole two years he spent at Burt Church. Ken plans to attend university and pursue a career in the film industry. Ken would like to thank Ms. Smith for being so supportive and helping him with his language barrier on his first day. Nas Verk. Nas's most memorable high school experience was getting to be a part of Link Crew. Nas wishes to pursue law and would like to thank her parents and grandparents. Irisha Vivian. Irisha's most memorable high school experience was meeting all kinds of new people this year. Irisha plans to pursue a career in practical nursing and would like to thank all of the wonderful teachers and friends she has met. Michael Volk. Michael's most memorable high school experience was working at the Education Centre. He also enjoyed music class with Mr. Dorner and Mall Walks. He would like to thank his teachers for the many great experiences. 
Alexander Walker, honorable mention. Alex's most memorable high school experience was May long weekend. After graduation, he hopes to travel around Asia. Alex would like to thank his family and especially the boys. Dylan Waller. Dylan's most memorable high school experience was winning the divisional soccer championship two years in a row. Dylan plans to become a mechanic and would like to thank his mom, dad, and Evan for always being a homie. Ireland Walters. After graduation, Ireland plans on taking a gap year and baking her art out. Ireland would like to thank her dad as he has always been there for her each year. She would also like to thank her mom, who is no longer here but was amazing and cared deeply about Ireland. Blake Warren. Blake's most memorable school experience was the camping trip he took with his friends to White Press, Alberta. After graduation, Blake plans to further pursue his education. Blake would like to thank Mr. Bonner and Mr. Horn for putting up with him. Sophia Wenzel. Sophia's most memorable high school experience was severing her tendon in the Burt Church basement. Sophia would like to thank Ms. King for being kind, Mr. Smith for being inspiring, and Mr. Burns for being scary. Ada White. Ada's most memorable high school experience was going on drives with her best friends. Ada hopes to go to university to study criminal justice and would like to thank Mr. Kirk for making her days so much better. Camden White. After graduation, Camden plans to pursue a career in the film industry. Camden would like to thank his sister, Danielle Benoit, Alexa Feener, Olivia Robson, Nakaya Prescott, Gavin Holman, Mr. Crawley, Mrs. Weigel, and his 2007 Pontiac Torrent. Jacob Weil. Jacob's most memorable high school experience was walking into German class expecting to dislike it, but realized he loved it. Jacob plans to work in security for seven years and then pursue a career with the Calgary Police Force. Jacob would like to thank Mr. Burns, Mr. Lucas, and Mr. Crawley for motivating him to try hard to get his diploma. Zoe Wynn. Zoe's most memorable high school experience was her projects about chicken nuggets that she fit into many classes, which often ended up being the best. Zoe will be attending Trinity Western University in the fall to major in English while pursuing an education degree. Zoe would like to thank all the teachers and mentors she had throughout her academic career. Zoe Winters. Zoe's most memorable high school experience was graduation. Zoe will be attending Bow Valley College in the fall for open studies and would like to thank her teachers, family, and friends for helping her get to where she is today. Carmen Wong, Honours. After graduation, Carmen plans on taking a gap year. Carmen would like to thank her dog for being, quote, the only tolerable being on this planet. Liam Wong, Honours. Liam's most memorable high school experience was when he opened the door on his own hand and had to get stitches because of it. Liam will be attending the University of Calgary in the fall to study engineering and would like to thank his parents and the staff at Burt Church. Zachary Wong, honors. Zach's most memorable high school experience was his time spent in the wood shop and in the fit center. Zach will be attending the University of Calgary to pursue a career in finance, to hopefully make lots of money. Zach would like to thank his family and all the teachers who supported him. And as there's too many to name, he hopes you know who you are. Hayden Wright. Hayden's most memorable high school experiences were listening to the many stories told by Mr. Burns in German class. Hayden hopes to travel and explore the world and would like to thank his parents for encouraging him to get through high school. Kion Yabit. Congratulations, Kion. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you all for your time today. We hope this ceremony provided a meaningful opportunity for our graduates to reflect on their time together at BCHS and their own journeys through school. Congratulations to our graduating class of 2020.